you just hold it and then it goes directly to the speed because it has a, um, a camera up here and it can read the speed limit the car can go directly there hello guys and welcome back to a new video today I have with me the new Honda Jazz hybrid facelift 2020 free version this is the advanced sport version and in this video we will make the test drive of course i will have a separate video interior exterior technical data material quality everything about the car i will have a separate review video so if you want to see it probably it's already on the channel if it's not already on the channel check out next days or click the subscribe button to see the notification when that video will come out now before we start driving i want to tell you that this is the new facelift and there is the old version so the difference between those two in my point of view it's really kind of around 20 percent it looks much much better the new facelift and totally deserve uh, to see it guys check out the uh, full review because there we will talk about the exterior now we will only drive but before i go driving i want to tell you that the car come with 16 inch rims beautiful rims normal brake disc on the rear and in the front we have ventilated brake discs about those details in the full review this is the key the same key as on the previous version the same handle here you can put your finger lock the car it comes with electric folding mirrors also if you want to unlock the car just put your hand here what i notice in all honda cars the quality of the doors and the quality of the handles are fabulous i mean the quality it's really really good now on this version it comes with aluminum pedals gorgeous pedals and it comes also with those uh, sporty seats that looks really really nice with a sweet uh, material here then we have fabric material here so overall uh, it feels good and it looks good and also I drive the car before and it's super super comfortable but they are manual adjustable seats let me go inside it doesn't matter once you close the the door you have also a lot of space here also an armrest once you close the door you notice up here it's a highway and you notice that it's crazy silent inside the, the cabin here i like that very much honda really know how to make cars and i love it also once you go inside you will see this steering wheel come also only on this advanced sport version and i love it the seats the same and also this frameless mirror up here uh it comes also also only in this version lovely other than that visibility position is the same nothing changed we have some pedals this time here you see those pedals behind the steering wheel are for regenerative brake let me press the brake here is the start engine button right now the car is on actually when you start the car it starts with a starter i will explain you as we drive uh, how the system is functioning and how the system is working also this is new multimedia system probably you already see it on my channel if it's not check it out and down there in the front i will reset actually i just reset the consumption and we will see also the consumption in the video great visibility on the mirrors we have blind spot technology all that safety features i will explain you now more details about the car the price guys by the way if you are in switzerland around switzerland check out blunier garage honda blunier garage in bern i will leave the link in the description of the video if you want to check them out a test drive the car see the car buy the car check them out really nice people they will help you with uh, whatever problem you have this advanced sport version come in a price of 32,890 francs with all the options included here and i will add the price in dollar and in euro to make an idea and also the color of the car it's 750 francs extra this red color look fabulous i really love it and you can see in the review video more information about it and also more information i will give you in the review now let's drive the car right now the car it's on you have a stalk here from where you can change the position of driving we have electronic handbrake auto hold function so you can activate it from here auto hold brake and release the handbrake and then go in reverse if you go in reverse you will see that the car come with a camera reverse camera that looks fabulous uh, it's not good as a resolution but from the point of view of driver it's perfectly positioned and i said fabulous because it's super easy to park it and you can see quite quite clear there how it is in the back there even though the car come with four parking sensors so you don't have to worry 
you can see right now activated four on the rear four on the front we have a drive mode down here d normal drive and we have b mode b mode mean when you accelerate let me show you and release right now the car recuperate more energy we will drive like that in the beginning and i will show you how it looks as we go and also here if i remember well was a nice graphic with the car i don't know how to go there i'm not sure if it was or not but i think honda has a nice graphic had a nice graphic before anyway let's drive the car let me leave the navigation here and we will see also the graphic it's on the cockpit this is the new digital cockpit from honda by the way they use it also on the previous version but it, it's relatively new crazy silent let me explain you the car come with a 1.5 liter petrol engine it comes also with two electric motors one small a starter and one big that drive the car in this moment and 90 percent of the time i should say 80 90 percent of the time the car is driven by electric motor the petrol engine will act like a generator most most of the time i think 80 90 percent of the time will act like a generator to charge the battery and to send the energy to the electric motor electric motor power 122 horsepower this is the maximum power of the car 122 horsepower 253 newton meters it comes also with mcpherson independent suspension on the front and semi-independent on the rear the car can do 0 to 100 in 9.4 seconds it's not a super sporty car and the top speed is 170 km per hour you have a button up here behind the steering wheel i will show you from where you can change different driving mode we have three driving modes echo normal econ normal and sport mode and we will try all of them let me go in sport mode right now we will go on the highway immediately when you change the driving mode you feel how the car is more responsive let me show you and right now when you accelerate the petrol engine it's revving on a little bit higher in order to send more energy and faster energy to the electric motor also another thing after 120 km per hour the car it start driving also from the petrol engine somehow i don't know it's a complicated system to explain you and also i think in my opinion when you accelerate it very hard um, the engine it's revving on super super hard but most of the time for example right now we are just cruising when you just cruising you know like like a highway speed and you just stabilize this speed right now you drive only in electric mode 100 percent right now it's electric mode now one thing after 100 km per hour you will notice you will you will hear a little bit of noise from outside a little bit of wind noise and this is the only thing that i find it in the car so i drive it before and the only thing that i find it uh, in the car that is not uh, i should say it's, it's not so comfy it's is this uh, wind noise from outside but if you hear music you probably won't notice it anyway going to 80 and now let me show you the the cruise control the car come also with the cruise control uh, i have to go in in d mode you cannot activate the cruise control and autopilot in, when you are in B mode and we were driving in B mode before so from here it's very simple you just activate it you just press it up once and then the lane assist you just press the lane assist physical button here and right now the car is taking control and right now the car will drive for you also always have your hands on the steering wheel it's recommended I show you I will have my hands here for safety just to show you the purpose of how good it is because I tested before and I was I was crazy impressed on how good this autopilot um, autopilot from from Honda is. Let me go a little bit forward, just like that. Now it's perfect. 
look at this it's, it's still work let me go down because you don't know that here it's 60 you just hold it and then it goes directly to the speed because it has a um, a camera up here and it can read the speed limit the car can go directly there if you press it here for two seconds once the the speed sign it's appearing on the cockpit look at this it's just doing it itself so it comes with this autopilot system that works really really good from my point of view it works fabulous also you have a very good visibility outside you can see the blind spot there you have good visibility in the multimedia here although i wish it was a little bit uh, straighter it's a little bit too much tilted on the back but yeah no problem it's nothing to to worry now changing the lanes also steering will feel quite good quality it comes in this free design uh, only on this advanced sport right now it's still if you hold it here it goes directly to the speed that it's set on the on the road right now and right now you can see accelerate sport mode and the car is going to the to the 94 or whatever speed you set there and right now you can see it's just holding perfectly i mean this system it's it's really really good look between the lanes perfectly in the middle nothing nothing to complain man i mean it's it's really really good anyway i will take the control press the brake a little bit and take the control and let's go outside here very very good driving position also the armrest it's it's great here the visibility is great you have a huge windshield also by the way many people asked me last time in the in the video about this a pillar it's split in two and they asked me about visibility they was they were worried that you don't have a good visibility but i i honestly to tell you you don't even notice it it's not it, it's quite good i should say it's quite good you can see in this area without any problem i don't think you should worry about that also in the mirror you see perfectly and also somehow you see also here through and also here and you have kind of a free dimensional with both eyes so i don't know how to explain you but you can really see well left and right and also on the other side the same story also up here with this new big mirror you have very good visibility right now when you start and when you drive in the city i think 99 percent of the time in the city you will drive only uh, in silence and uh, of course with electric motor as i said before but it's really really pleasant to drive it at low speed it's super quiet and, and nice but i think because of the shape of the car because they put this a pillar a little bit higher the the noise from the wind on the highway you can hear it a little bit more um, aggressively i should say let's go out here press the acceleration ah, it's quite agile i like how agile it is let's talk a little bit about the steering wheel the steering wheel in sport mode it's pretty soft the suspension are great are super comfortable but the steering wheel look look at this the, the steering wheel it's holding for me you have to deactivate it from here if you don't want it anymore but look how good it is man i mean it's it's really good it's doing a great job much better than than other cars that i test in the past and even with bigger price to be honest look look how good is the steering wow and right now it's not activated autopilot it's just the steering activated and it assists you in a in a very very nice manner and if you want to deactivate you have to press it here and right now you have the control but by the way keep in mind in sport mode the steering it's also quite assisted i should say now here we will turn around i didn't find any info about turning circle but the car it's super super small so i don't think it's matter you have this reverse camera that's lovely as well I show you before and let me go back in drive and I want to show you in drive mode you have those pedals plus and minus behind the steering wheel and when you press them every time you press them 
uh, you recuperate energy or you choose there on the screen it shows you some arrows so for example if you go here right you go like uh, you can see the car is rolling but if you go all the way here and you have like five levels and you release it the car right now is regenerate the energy when you release the acceleration it comes with an ECVT automatic transmission zero speed just to, to make it clear it's an uh, ECVT it's pretty nimble even though we go uphill it's quite agile I like the way it feels in sport mode it feels agile it feels fast but for the for the size and for the engine it feels pretty good now let me go in echo mode I'm really curious in echo mode right now in echo mode the steering it's relatively the same nothing changed in terms of steering wheel depending the depending on the driving mode so it's kind of the same it's the same steering wheel but now the acceleration it's much more smoother the acceleration it's smoother and also you cannot hear so much the the petrol engine right now the petrol engine it's it's much more silent you barely barely hear it even though if I accelerate a little bit stronger before the petrol engine was quite quite silent Yeah, you, you hear it in the beginning and then no more, but, but much, much more silenter. Oh, I like it. What we have, consumption 5.9 liter until now. The, the estimated consumption VLTP is 4.5 liter. So we have a little bit more, but we drive the car a little bit aggressive and not constant. But we will see in the end. Anyway. I like it and I like that it has physical button and easy to adjust every single feature here you can see in the cockpit there you can change this view and you can see a nice graphic and you can see what happened with the energy there and from where it comes the energy so if let me activate again this autopilot from here you activate the lane assist and one more time autopilot it's crazy crazy easy to activate it here it's a it's a complicated curve for most of the people let's see if you can handle it but I feel confident to leave this to trust this autopilot let's see let's see this is this is hard I will have my hands here this is hard one look wow wow great job wow it's doing great it always always beep you to hold your hand on the steering wheel from 10 to 10 seconds or something like that but look how good is wow great job honda great job with autopilot i i really really like it now guys let me explain you one more time right now the car is driving only is driving only by electric motor it's a front wheel drive system so all the the motors and the petrol engine it's in the front we have two electric motors one small it's kind of a starter and then one big electric motor that drive the car most of the time like 99% 95% and right now it's driving by electric uh, uh, by electric motor I'm not sure and from what I heard after you reach 120 km per hour then I think it starts to drive also, also with uh, with the petrol engine I'm not sure exactly how this crazy system work there but I'm I'm going to look into it and I want to make an explanation a separate video and explain all that all those uh, features climatic system incredible easy to adjust and to change different functions you just turn it on turn it off from here you have physical button it's gorgeous also the way it feels the way it's positioned there everything in the car it's really really top-notch and they make small step forward from the previous version but small steps that really make the life better and really add a tenth of premium to the car now press the brake accelerate you can hear right now the engine how it's 
rolling very good visibility in the mirrors a lot of space in the front here gorgeous gorgeous visibility guys i i i don't know if i can complain the, the only thing that i can say is maybe the wind noise you know if you drive at 100 you start to hear a little bit of wind noise but other than that i like it i like the car good visibility good grip great steering wheel it's not a super sporty car even though it's the advanced sport version it's more of a family city car that you can go also in the trips without any problems super economical uh, with a lot of premium on it and with a beautiful look because if you will see if you will look at the review video that I will uh, that I have on the channel you will see there I show you all the car and you see how beautiful it looks and this new facelift really make the car stand out a little bit more and make it much more modern and attractive but driving in the city at low speed it's it's a pleasure to drive it it's right now the car is driving only by electric motor but powered by battery sometimes you know at low speed when you don't accelerate so strong the car it's powered by the battery the battery send energy to the electric motor but when you accelerate really strong on the highway then the petrol engine start to send the energy also to to the electric motor and right now it's silent but if I accelerate you hear how the the petrol engine kick in but it's super silent only at high speeds uh, it start to to hear it a little bit more but in general that was the car really a pleasure to drive I really like the car I think they did a gorgeous job with the car really really good here we can test out also the turning circle but as you turn uh, it's no problem it's super small the car it's crazy small you can turn it in small spaces without any problem and also visibility here it's it's great if you want to park it you just go in reverse and you have this reverse camera with active lanes you have also two free position to see in reverse there and you don't have any problem by parking in the car just like that super super easy parking sensors put it in park we have electronic handbrake auto hold the consumption I know you're curious so let's go to the consumption let's see where was that here we have 4.8 liter consumption guys and the estimated it's, it's 4.5 and you see how we drive until now right now the climatic system it's on I just forget it on but guys I think in the summer with the climatic system off or for example um, I think you can get incredible consumption. I think I can get on this uh, Honda Jazz with this engine under 3.5 liter consumption. I'm 100% sure about that. And probably I will make a video to test the consumption. I will try my best to drive economical to see what kind of consumption I will get. Yeah, probably if I have time today, I will do that. Anyway, guys, thank you for watching. I hope the video was useful. I hope you get some useful information from here. They make in general it's kind of the same driving feeling as the previous version the only difference on this one is that it has 10 kilowatt hour more power than the previous version it's not a huge i think around 10 horsepower around there here it says like 10 kilowatt more power than the previous version but i think around 10 horsepower you can think like that relatively you can feel a huge difference but you know there are small changes here and there and in the exterior that make the car feel a little bit better and yeah i like it to be honest i really like the car i, I was liking the car from the first time when i saw it anyway even the the four facelift version anyway guys my rating for this honda jazz taking into consideration price offer space practicality technology also autopilot was really good the comfort on the seats is great 
the system in general and I think it will last even longer than a normal um, normal petrol or IC system it's 9.9 .9. this is my rating I will give it even more to be honest um, I, I really like the car really I don't know maybe they can improve a little bit the the air I don't know maybe the shape or I'm not sure about that but at high speed on the highway you hear a little bit of noise but if you hear music I think it's no problem anyway that was the video don't forget to like share subscribe thank you very much to all of you that are watching my video I really appreciate that if you want to see the car if you are in Switzerland around Switzerland check out garage Blunier in Bern I will leave the link in the description so you can check them out if you want to test drive the car see the car buy the car check them out they are super super nice anyway that was the video thank you for watching don't forget to look at the review i will have a separate video full review interior exterior with the same car there you find more information about the car thank you guys i have a question for you in the last time i tried to film the video in a different way hdr quality i tried to go up to the best quality image ever I'm not sure if I will manage to do this video, but the other videos, the full review and the short one with music will be in the super high quality. I await your feedbacks. I'm really curious to hear your feedbacks if you like it. Also, you will need a special uh, monitor, a special phone or screen in order to see that. But most of you that have the new, uh, new phones, smartphones, you will be able to see it or the new MacBooks or the new TVs. So anyway, thank you for watching. Stay safe and I see you soon in the next one. Bye guys.